Ladies and gentlemen, today I got a very creepy one for you guys. I saw our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ do a reaction to this video and it made me want to throw in my two cents. To give you guys a quick backstory, this guy was stalking this girl um, that he used to be co-workers with, um, all due to the fact that he wanted to show her a song. The creepy guy that we're about to cook today is, a, is an artist. He's a musician. Uh, what does his music sound like exactly? Uh, let me go ahead and play, play for you guys right now. I know, I know, right? You was not expecting to get a jump scare, right? You was not expecting the music to sound like that. You would think if he was trying to dedicate a song to a shoddy, that it would sound majestic, elegant, like all, all of those nice words, but no, it was, it was that. So yeah, he was stalking her to make her listen to his song. Uh, she got creeped out. She ran to her apartment, called her dad up because she was in fear for her life, obviously. And the dad, being a dad, um, threatened him, threatened that he was gonna do bodily harm to him. And do you know what this creep does? Do you know what this incel does? He calls the police. The stalker is the one that calls the police, the stalker, because he feels like he's in fear of his life. So today we're about to go ahead and react to the interaction between him and the cops that he recorded. You guys, this this interaction is a doozy. You're gonna wanna stick around and watch this. The Cracker Barrel, and I was going to play a song for a woman that I kinda like, and uh, I got there, and she saw me and she immediately pulled away. And uh, I, I wasn't forcing her li to listen or anything, you know. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to play the song for her, you know, give her her own choice yeah. if she wanted to be with me, you know. Okay. Does she know you? Yeah, I worked with her there for like five, six months. Did y'all have a relationship? No, we were talking a little bit. <laughs> you guys were talking for a little bit. Was she talking to her in terms of having a conversation? Yeah, for sure. 100%. She was probably feeling bad for you because you were probably the weirdo at the work, you know what I'm saying? The person that everybody would shun because you was giving off weird vibes. You you were being a creep, being weird, and she was being a nice individual, a nice person, pitying you and having a conversation with you. But in terms of talking like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? She was feeling the young boy's vibe, you know what I'm saying? No, no. But it never really got serious. Okay. But anyways, I pulled up there. And I was in the other parking lot, and I saw her get in her car, and I, saw, I was like, oh, shoot. It's my moment, so I pulled up there next to her, and she pulled away from me, and uh, so I chased her a little bit, just because, I don't know, women are crazy. Like, I felt like she, like, wanted me to chase her. Do you her. not think <laughs> What? Hey, cops, between me and you, she wanted me to stalk her. Like, let's keep it a bean. Let's keep it a buck. Chasing somebody's crazy? Well, it's just like, I only went like a couple blocks down the street. Whoa, whoa, whoa now, cop. That's some strong verbiage. Chase? I didn't really chase her for real. I only followed her a couple of blocks. Like, that's not really chasing. Don't you think chasing somebody's crazy when they, when they obviously don't want to... Well, I had my song playing, and I wanted to like her to hear it, maybe. Well, apparently, she didn't want to hear it, right? So what else happened? Let's get on with the story. Um, well, anyways... Her, her father called me up and he made some threats to me and to my life. Okay. And so I just want to have his name what, on file. What, what he As he should. As he should. The audacity. Like, is he not hearing himself? Does he not hear how dumb and idiotic he sounds right now? Real quick, I forgot to add that. Like, isn't it crazy that him saying this? It might sound crazy between me and you. It might sound so crazy. But to him, what he's saying is like the most logical thing ever. Like, he is in the right. There is nothing you could say or do to make him feel like what he's doing or saying is wrong. People like these, not gonna lie to you. Thanos was right, all right? Hey, Aaron, bro. Hey, bring them Titans over here, bro. Aaron, just bust a U-turn real quick. Come over here on this side and wipe a couple of these folks out. Uh, I think he said he's gonna stab me, like. <laughs> Thank you, cop. Thank you, cop, right? Thank you. Thank you. If I had a daughter and you moving like this, you you better be lucky I'm just stabbing you. You better be lucky if what comes out my mouth is I'm gonna stab you. Cause I promise you I'm gonna do way worse than that. You over here playing with my daughter's safety? You making it feel unsafe? She's over here on the phone crying, crying in fear for her life. Cause you're being a weirdo. You're being a creep. You better be lucky. That's on the bright side that this father wants to just stab you up. But he, he's like cussing at me. He said that. He said, he says, I'm going to do something to you. I swear I do something to you. For chasing your daughter? Yeah, but it wasn't chasing. It was like going down a couple streets. Like, that's like fun to women. Like, women like that. A little no, bit of no. excitement. This man 
has never talked to a female a day in his life. This is an incel. This is a textbook incel. If you guys had no idea what an incel is, ladies and gentlemen, here's your example right here. This is what an incel is. He embodies an incel. No, they don't. Women well, don't like to be chased. What about like... If I was a father, porn. I'd probably tell you the same thing. What about like BDS and porn, where women like to be have rape fantasies? Right? I know. I know. I don't know what are you what are you on and about what are you talking about all right okay yes there are girls who have that type of fantasy right does she have that is is that is that her type of steez that she's into do you know that if you guys were talking maybe that would have popped up but obviously you guys weren't talking like that if that was her thing i mean i doubt that she would call the police on you buddy uh, i'm i'm just saying if she was really into that type of sting I doubt she would have called the police on you. If anything, you stalking her would have turned her on, bro. You following her back to her place would have turned her on completely. But no, clearly she's not interested in it. She called the co her she called her dad in a panic because she was in fear for her life. Apparently, this girl doesn't. Well, who knows? Most women do like having rape fantasies. Okay. Do you think she does? I don't know. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. But the fact that he was like, hmm, well. Let's find out. Let's go ahead and see. Yo, man, God. Last time I'm a pop up, but most women, most, most, where are you getting your stats from? Where, where are you getting this information from? Most women have that type of fantasy. This man is just pulling stuff out his rear, bro. There ain't most women. If he thinks most women have this type of fantasy, this man needs help. But apparently she don't. Well, so, so what do you want us to do? Well, I just want you to get his name on file, just in case he does do anything do you, do to you me. Do know his name? I know his daughter's name. What, do you know his name? I know her name. I don't know his name. He called me from a restricted phone number. Okay. Here's, here, here's my suggestion. Leave her alone. Simple as that. It's simple as that. Leave her alone. She's not interested in you. She doesn't want to listen to your garbage music, man. Well, this is one song I made, and this was the final chance I was going to have. Here's my chance. Here, here's my advice. It's over. Leave her alone. Okay. The fathers will hurt you over their daughters. Thank you, cop. Based. Ba Am I using that term right? Based. This is a W cop, by the way. This is a W. I love how he's handling this whole entire situation. Yeah, but that's the thing. is She needs to have her own free will, man. You do not understand. Listen, I'm a man myself, listen, bro, and listen, I have needs listen, myself. She, she's choosing her free will by telling her daddy what happened to you, and I'm telling you, stay away from her because he will hurt you probably. She's being controlled by him. His, his process of thinking is insane. It is wild. The fact that she called Pops on her own free will because she was scared of you, bozo. That, that just falls into... Oh, she's just being controlled by her dad. How... How blinded are you? No, like seriously, this man needs help. Like, there's something mentally wrong with him. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's her choice, right? Free well, choice, free will. I think she should go do porn. How'd you, how'd you get that? How'd you come to that conclusion? This man needs help. This man for real needs help. Okay, you need to leave. It's legal. You need to leave. Well. We're not doing anything. You need to leave. I'm, I'm having discussion on I'm having discussion telling you to leave. Are you threatening me with arrest? I'm not threatening you. I'm telling you to leave. This we're is done. a public property. We're done. Well, you can stay if you want. If you, if you, so if you, if you do that on public property, I'll, you know, I'll leave you're, under. You're free. you're free to do whatever you want to do right here, but we're not doing anything else. I'm just giving you advice. The girl doesn't want to talk to you. Leave. Yeah, but it's, there's something twisted about that. There's something twisted about the way you think. Mm, let me get him mm, in the chat. Mm. I, I was going to let her make her own choice after the song. Well, she's made her choice. And I just don't think she had a reasonable opportunity to make a choice because I'm going to blow up and I'm going to be a famous how, DJ and I'm going to be how, like... How old is hey, the music, the music that I've heard from you, doubt it. Doubt it. I'm not even hating. I'm not, I'm not hating. Just facts. Like, <laughs> like let's, let's base our, our goals in reality. Hello, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the guy behind the camera. This is the guy that was following her block to block. I know a lot of y'all saw him and it clicked for y'all. It, it all made sense. You're like, you know what? I see it. I see it. I see it. How much y'all want to bet that he's a tier one sub to Amaranth? <laughs> you know what? Lindsay's dad. I hope you see this fucking video.
You know what happens when women don't ever, you know, come to terms with themselves? This this tirade he's about to go on is a reason why the cops need to do something about him, man. Because there might be other people who are going to be in danger same way that she felt like she was, all right? Just here, just here. Just go, just go ahead and hear, hear it. I don't know. Something, um... The cops want to deny me trying to get her to be straight. I, what? Hold on. I didn't I didn't see this part. What? What did he just say? Me trying to get her to be straight. The cops are denying you from making her straight. I'm I'm so lost. Let's let, I'm so lost. Something is wrong about that. I don't see why these traditional ass motherfuckers think they can speak shit whenever it's this woke belligerent lgbt shit that has her right now and her father is controlling the bullshit i just don't see it i'm older than her fucking father excuse me you're older than her dad you're older than her dad fucking snakes man she was gonna lure me in a trap Whenever I was gonna go, you know, play a song for her. It's just how it is. But uh, shout out to all my bros. <laughs> shout out to all my bros. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so random. What? Yeah, man, women suck, man. I mean, that, but that's how life goes, man. Shout out to the gang, though. I know that my dudes. You know, I'm, I'm like, I'm really getting depressed recently, you guys. Oh, you feeling depressed? You feeling sad? Man, shut up, man. I don't feel no sympathy for you whatsoever, bro. I don't care if you're feeling depressed, man. Let me know down in the comments below your thoughts, opinions on this whole thing, as well as a like and a sub. Hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye-bye. The diamonds, they hit like a rainbow. That's because the necklace of Frank. Purr.